There isn't just one type of breast cancer. There are actually many, many types. One type that is particularly fast growing and aggressive is called a triple negative breast cancer. In this video, I will explain what it is and the promising results of a drug that has been shown to improve outcome. Hi, my name is Dr. Tasha and I'm a breast surgeon. So the treatment of breast cancer is now very individualized. It is definitely not a one treatment fits all policy. And that's because breast cancers have very different characteristics that help doctors decide what kind of treatments can be used that are known to be effective. One of these important characteristics is to know whether the cancer expresses any of the hormone receptors, estrogen and progesterone, and whether they express proteins called HER2. When you have a breast cancer that expresses these receptors and proteins, not only can we treat it with surgery, chemotherapy, radiotherapy, we can also use other treatments such as anti-hormone tablets like tamoxifen and letrozole, and also a drug called Herceptin. These are known to help reduce recurrence risk and also improve outcome. Now, triple negative breast cancers, or TNBC for short, are cancers that do not express any of these, and they represent about 15% of all breast cancers. And for these types of cancers, anti-hormone tablets and the drug Herceptin won't work. And so treating these types of cancers can be challenging. So who is normally affected? Well, triple negative breast cancers are cancers commonly found in premenopausal women under the ages of 40, in black women, and also in those who have the BRCA mutation. These types of breast cancers can present like any type of breast cancer. However, patients present with a more aggressive clinical course, including advanced stage at initial diagnosis, they have an earlier recurrence incidence with metastatic spread and decreased overall survival. So what are the treatment options? Well, the aim of breast cancer treatment is not only to remove the cancer, but also to minimize the risk of it coming back. So like any breast cancer, a triple negative breast cancer can be treated with surgery, chemotherapy, as well as radiotherapy. Unfortunately, we can't give anti-hormone tablets. Now, chemotherapy can be given either before surgery, also known as neoadjuvant chemotherapy, or after surgery, also known as adjuvant treatment. And there are different benefits and indications as to why someone may be given neoadjuvant chemotherapy versus adjuvant chemotherapy. If the cancer is large, then chemotherapy can be given to shrink the cancer first, and this will allow breast conservation surgery to be done. The other benefit of giving chemotherapy first is that we can also see whether it's working or not by checking the size of the cancer. If the cancer is shrinking, then the chemotherapy is working. If the cancer isn't shrinking, or worse, if the cancer is getting bigger, then the chemotherapy isn't working and then surgery will be done. Conventional chemotherapy drugs have had mixed results. Now there's a drug called Prembrolizumab, also known by the brand name Keytruda. This is a drug that has been in the news recently. This drug is an immunotherapy drug. This means that it uses the body's immune system to recognize and kill the cancer cells. For this drug to work, the cancer will need to express PDL1 proteins on their surface. These proteins bind to receptors on the cells of the immune system, also known as T cells, which then tricks the immune system to think that these cancer cells are not harmful, and so allowing them to continue to grow. Pembrolizumab works by blocking these receptors on the immune cells, which then tells them that, hmm, these cells must be foreign and harmful, and so they are attacked by the immune system. There have been two important trials that have shown how pembrolizumab can really help in treating triple negative breast cancers. The Keynote 355 trial looked at the benefits of this drug in locally recurrent, unresectable, or metastatic triple negative breast cancers who have not been previously treated with chemotherapy. It is given with chemotherapy and recommended only if the tumors express PDL1 with a combined positive score of 10 or more and an immune cell staining of less than 1%. Pembrolizumab plus chemotherapy was seen to reduce the risk of death by 27% in metastatic triple negative breast cancer patients compared to chemotherapy alone the median overall survival increased by 6.9 months when pembrolizumab was used in addition to chemotherapy 
compared to just chemotherapy. After approval of using this drug and chemotherapy for advanced triple negative breast cancers, the combination therapy for people with early stage triple negative breast cancers was approved. And this was based on the findings of the Keynote 522 trial. In this trial, they looked at the benefit of pembrolizumab in early stage triple negative breast cancer patients. The trial looked at 1,174 patients with previously untreated triple negative breast cancer and then randomized to neoadjuvant pembrolizumab and chemotherapy followed by surgery and adjuvant pembrolizumab versus neoadjuvant placebo and chemotherapy followed by surgery and then after this they only had adjuvant placebo. And in patients with early triple negative breast cancer, near adjuvant pembrolizumab plus chemotherapy followed by adjuvant pembrolizumab after surgery resulted not only in more marked shrinking of the cancer, but also in significantly longer event-free survival. So there have been significant advances in the treatment of triple negative breast cancers, but of course, more research still needs to be done. I hope this has been helpful and I'll see you in the next video.